Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yasudian. I'm a dermatologist based in the UK. Today I thought I will talk about a natural way of addressing hair fall. This is something I learned when I attended the virtual American Academy of Dermatology meeting a few weeks ago. Here's the poster that was presented by the team from the University of California based in Irvine. They looked at the evidence for the use of rice water to stimulate hair growth. I've always been a bit skeptical about so-called natural methods of hair growth. My wife, in fact, has been using this for the last few months and mentioned to me that it was very effective for her. As usual, I dismissed it as being non-scientific and without merit. So I was quite shocked to find that there was good scientific rationale for using this treatment. So let's look at it in a bit more detail. Rice water has actually been popular for thousands of years, particularly in Asia. Women in Japan and China used this from 1000 BC and boasted of hair extending till the floor. In fact, the tradition lasts to this day. The Yao women who live in a village called Huanglo in China are famed for having hair that grows up to six feet in length. And apparently, their hair remains quite black as well into their 80s. So let's look at the science behind how this occurs. The scientific name for rice is Ariza sativa. A grain of rice has various components, including the kernel that makes up the bulk and the rice bran and husk that forms the outer covering. It's the rice bran and its extract that seems to confer most of its beneficial effects. There are many mechanisms by which it works. Rice bran extract increased various growth factors, including keratinocytic and vascular endothelial growth factors. Our hair cycles through various stages, including anagen, which is the growing stage, and telogen, which is the resting phase. Rice water transfers the telogen into the growing anagen phase. It also increases type 1 and type 4 collagen, thereby strengthening the hair sheets. Finally, it reduces the inflammatory cytokines like interleukin-1-alpha that normally inhibits hair growth. These are all the mechanisms by which hair growth is maintained as described in the poster. So it's quite clear that there's significant scientific evidence that rice water may be beneficial. Other mechanisms are also mentioned in this wonderful review. Overactivation of an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase has been implicated in the development of female pattern hair thinning. High levels of bioactive unsaturated fatty acids gamma linolenic acid and oleic acid found in rice water have inhibitory effects on 5-alpha reductase 1 and to a lesser extent also type 2, thereby increasing hair growth by prolongation of the anagen phase. It may also stimulate repigmentation of grey hair through induction of melanogenesis. There's a suggestion that it may have potential therapeutic value for the treatment of vitiligo through the same melanogenesis pathway. The authors of the poster also looked at various rice water products that are available commercially. Consumers now are concerned more about the long-term health effects. So natural and organic products with fewer ingredients and chemicals have become favorable. There is a growing trend over the last five years for US consumers to seek organic and natural beauty products. This search on Amazon.com identified 176 products containing rice ingredients. So how do we use it in our own homes? I've given here a very simple technique that my wife uses. This is fairly similar to the information that I gathered using various websites. Firstly, you soak a cup of rice in water. You can then cook the rice if you do not wish to waste it, but keep the water after straining it. You can then let the water stand for a day or two as fermented rice water 
seems to have more active ingredients than non-fermented plain rice water. The fermented rice water can be used as a spray on the hair and also on the scalp. If you want to use it again, you refrigerate it. Just remember that fermented rice does have a pungent smell, so it has to be covered at all times. So what did I learn from this review? Firstly, there does seem to be good scientific rationale for using rice water. Secondly, it can be used as an adjunctive natural alternative for hair loss patients who wish to avoid the use of old medications like finasteride, dutasteride, or spironolactone, or topical minoxidil. Thirdly, do not ignore traditional methods of treatment that have been passed down the generations. If, if science proves that it works, there is no harm in using it. Finally, and most importantly, your wife is always right, and it's best if we listen to them. That's something most men of a certain age will definitely agree upon. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you for listening, and bye.